no life without order. Good, evil, darkness, light. There must be balance in the universe. Such is the decree of the Charred Council, an ancient body charged by the Creator to preserve the very fabric of existence. But the balance has been broken. Even now, Earth smolders in ruin, fallen to the demon lords, and the Destroyer carves a new kingdom amongst his mighty chosen. Some say the Horsemen War triggered the apocalypse, that he rode to Earth unbidden and doomed all of mankind. But what of the other horsemen, fearless enforcers of the Council's will? What of fury, strife, and death? To know those names, you must first know another. Nephilim, cursed union of angel and demon. The Nephilim had countless realms of the soul and burned them to ash. But four amongst them grew weary of the slaughter and feared their conquest would imperil the balance. And so a truce was made. The four would serve the council in exchange for unimaginable power. Thus were the dreaded horsemen formed. And the riders' first task was to purge their own brethren from creation, to annihilate the Nephilim and destroy their souls. Let us now cast our gaze to one amongst the four. Not war, who lies chained at the Council's feet, professing his innocence, but one who would save his brother above all else. He has many names. Kinslayer, Executioner, Death. he would resurrect humanity. But he knew not how this might be done. And so death rode forth into the icy veil to find the keeper of secrets. something Three hours of it. I beat the first dungeon type thing. Anyways, it was amazing, and I wanted to save it to record. Cause like, oh, that's how you do that. I have the first one. As far as I know, the two really don't intersect all that much until near the end. So if any of you want me to play the first one, I definitely will do that. I just, I didn't like it as much as this one. I don't know, this one has the overall RPG aspect and... Everything about it just reminds me of other games that I love. I mean, the parkour is reminiscent of, like, Assassin's Creed. The combat is like, I don't even know. Oh, what? 
the hell did I just do? That was awesome. Uh, yeah, equip that. I think I can use it. Sweetie. Get those. I mean, like I said, like, you can just see, like, right there. Hold on. Like, it's an RPG, pretty much. And it's just amazingly done. The way it was crafted, the way it was just... I don't know, this man. Is no place for all of us. The voice, I love his voice. It's just uh, so sexy. Uh, so I do have all of the DLC, so I'll be getting like armors and shit near level five. Look at this. Awesome. I'll find a way to see. Him. Oh. Move towards. Yeah, there we go. Like the art style kind of reminds me of World of Warcraft, you know, in a sense. These are the same ones that I have. And then, like the dungeon aspect reminds me of itself. But this, this game is a just a compilation of everything I love. But yeah, it's none of those at the exact same time. Oh, go pick up. There we go. The first one, well, it was it was amazing. I, I played like 20, 50 minutes of it. I've been like first boss, and I was about all I did. Um, but the first one, in my opinion, it was just. That dude. I don't know how to explain it. I just couldn't get into it. I'm sure you've all had games like that. Like for me, it's Call of Duty. Oh, God. You're a dick. But I love that I give you the choice between. Uh, am I wearing those? Yeah, okay. Like, they give you the choice between light, heavy, and then eventually you do, like, get magic and shit. Yeah, see. Or wrath, as it's called in this game. So many options to play the way you want to. Right? Use, like, a finisher move there. Bam! Where's that? Give me this. And it's kinda like these weapons, obviously some are faster than others, some do more damage than others. Just give you a way to fight the way you want to fight, and that to me is amazing game design. You never want to steer your player in a one direction, you want to give them a choice. Make them feel like they're living the adventure. Oh, crit. Oh, oh shit. It's not too fast. I'm sorry, I keep praising this game, but, like, it's been a few months since I even played it, and just, like, I can't get over how amazing it is, even, like, I thought it was just, like, first time experience amazingness, but no. If you haven't played either of them, I suggest you do. Sorry if like this isn't gonna be like a very like uh, I guess I do the more than like some of my large plays won't be very funny in terms because some of these games aren't meant to be made as funny. I uh, messed that up, but they're made to be experienced and played and loved. Sick. 
sick laughter. <laughs> um, fuck this guy. Come here, bitch. Another thing about this game is the storytelling and the ambiance. You'll, you'll see what I mean, especially headphone users. I'll try to keep it down a bit, which is why I turned on the music. Because I first played this while wearing some pretty good headphones, and I almost died deaf in. Look at this fucker. Oh, the enemy design. Do you really want to be quick with this guy? I don't think you know. No. Get behind him and use. And then die. Ah, oh, see, I didn't do it right there. Use heavy attacks only when you can, like right there. Like that, yeah. And... Final blow! Oh, that's so cool. In my opinion, that would have been better as a quick time event, though. A lot of games, like, have perfect opportunity for quick time events, but never, like, fulfill on them. Like, DMC, the remake of Devil May Cry. That was, like, it was pretty good, but they could have fit a lot more into the game than they tried. Like, I blasted through that game in, like, four hours. Or, if, well, my replay, I blasted through it in four hours. But my first play, I got stuck on the space, it took about eight oh. Oh, Fuck you. It took me about 8 to 12 hours. Ah, oh, the amazingness, the composure. Like, I just listened to, like, the soundtrack of this game and I almost just died of amazingness. I have a feeling it's gonna be more of a walkthrough type commentary. Like, something you would, like, a podcast or visual, basically. I don't know, I might just do one episode on this. Fuck you. I might just do this one episode right now. And if I ever, like... I might go back and do the first one for the channel, I don't know. I just really wanted to play this today, but I also really wanted to record. Wait, oh. and there we go. So I figured why not play one of my favorite games and get some recording done. Oh. Uh. Oh, that's some like in a crowd situation. Obviously, you can a weapon to use an attack. This is the way to go. Uh, yeah. Always, always check loot. You never want to miss out, obviously. There's, a little, there's no quick down either. Well, you can't attack on here. Oh! That's another thing. Trial and error. It's never like Zelda... Well, I guess it's kind of like Zelda in a sense, where like, you fall off a ledge and they restart you with like, one less heart, but this one you just restart where you fell off. I'm sorry, I'm totally nerding out over this game. But uh comment and tell me if you want if you want me to play more of this game or play the first. Whatever. I just wanna like I don't know. My vision is weird. 
I want to make people smile, but I'm not too good at that. awkward and it only appeals to a certain type of person. I want to know who did the voice acting for him. I never looked it up. But it's amazing. I wonder if he's in any other games. Oh, boss battle. Yeah, that's war. Oh, I guess we need to say that. You need to be fast with him. There is no other way. Game on Steam. I 
I've never had to use potions in this head before. Oh. Attack, you need to not, bro. Son of a bitch. You ass. Crow father. You suck. Is there no more quick time event? Ah. No, I guess I just... It served. This guy schooled, bitch. Oh, my God. Your secrets die with you. Oh, fool. My secrets are not yours. Fucking awesome. The uncountable worlds of our universe swirl in an endless abyss. Many worlds ravaged by time or conflict are swallowed by the abyss, returned to the nothingness from which they were formed. But others linger for eternity on the brink of annihilation. That creation might be balanced with destruction. And in the final moment of battle, death was banished to one such world in the autumn of its life, yet not far from the edge of darkness. Had death been sent to his doom, that answer would be found in the horseman's future and in his past. Be still, horseman. You are wounded. Like your beard. Your arrival here is a bad omen. Yes. Troubles me greatly. Old one, there's more trouble ahead if you don't start making sense. Where is the tree of life? Life? <laughs> this world is dying, mad. Choking on chaos and corruption. We can do little to stop it. Soon, the great tree too shall perish, and with it, the last of my people. Is that not what brought you here, Pale Rider? I seek the tree. Chaos and corruption don't concern me. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to leave this episode here. Like I said, you wanna see more? Let me know in the comments. Oh, I'm actually excited to play this, especially for the channel if you guys want it. Anyways, I will see you guys next time.